22 and last night Matt Harley officially became woke. Ah, oh. the segment between Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy was wonderful, delightful, as Matt Hardy would say. We have two characters on WWE television. This is an entertainment show. I've been saying for the longer it's about characters, and Matt Hardy will finally bring his broken brilliance to WWE television. I went on YouTube, and you got all the wrestling matches got posted on YouTube. But there's one segment that blows everything out the water in views, and that's Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt promo segment, which proves once again it's all about characters, not in rank work, you and rank nerds. Now, with Matt Hardy being woken from the dead, it makes me give a damn about Bray Wyatt. This is the perfect feud for Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. To bring back Bray Wyatt to being relevant. The promos between Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy, I am looking forward to them. Before Raw even came on, I tweet out on Twitter. It's only one reason why I'm looking forward to Monday Night Raw, and that's Woken Matt Hardy. Now, I'm cool with the Woken name because he was already broken before, so that just wake him up. He's woken, man, Hardy. Instead of being broke, he was already broken before. You can't break him a second time because you already broke him before. So I understand the name. Of course, that will make some money off the name Woken. The merch sales will go through the roof because he's on a bigger stage in the W. He did tremendous in TNA. I love every minute of him in TNA. Now he's in W. He can bring some entertainment to entertainment to entertainment product, which is W because it's about entertainment. WWE stands for entertainment. Now. With Matt Hardy in the WWE with this gimmick right now, a lot of fans who didn't watch TNA can finally see the greatness of uh, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy was, you know, always under Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy had a rock star pill over the years, so of course W decided to go with Matt Hardy. I mean, sorry, go to Jeff Hardy. But then once he got the TNA, you finally can see the true greatness of a Matt Hardy. And Matt Hardy surpassed Jeff Hardy in popularity with a lot of fans. I always Jeff Hardy guy. But once Matt Hardy became broken, I became a bigger Matt fan than a Jeff fan. And I am a bigger Matt fan right now than a Jeff fan because of this character right here. And I know the W like to act like TNA doesn't exist. But this is a sign of respect to TNA because... W left so much money on the table when they could have used other things from other companies like ECW and WCW. Yeah, they gave brought back ECW for the one night one night stand shows, but they could have done a lot more. They didn't do a lot when they, you know, purchased WCW. When they claim they don't acknowledge a company like TNA, but you see what Matt Hardy done in TNA. And it's the reason why Matt Hardy got brought back with Jeff Hardy. Now, Jeff Hardy, he would have always got brought back regardless. But if Matt Hardy was just same with Matt Hardy. He would never been brought back to the WWE. This gimmick worked. Vincent Man saw this gimmick. We all know Vincent Man is an evil maniac. If it's not creation, he don't want nothing to do with it. But he saw the greatness of Matt Hardy in TNA. And he decided, you know what? This thing is so good, I'm going to put it on my platform. Last night when you watched that promo segment, it didn't have that scripted feel. You felt the same broken, woken, whatever. Matt Hardy from Impact Wrestling. I didn't feel the difference of that character last night. And that shows a lot of respect to TNA. That they say, you know what? This character's so good. We can't deny it. Because W likes to deny a lot of things. But they cannot deny the greatest of what TNA did with Matt Hardy. And that's why he with this company. So, big ups to the W. Big ups to Vincent Man for not being an ego maniac. And looking at, this can make a lot of money for us. Because... I'm going to get me a Matt Hardy shirt whenever I come out about deletion. Whatever you want to say, delete, delete, delete. I'm going to buy a shirt. A lot of fans are going to buy a shirt. And you have a lot of delete chance for weeks and weeks. Hopefully this Matt Hardy character goes very far. It's a lot of money to be made, Vincent Man. And Vincent Man loves making money. And this is the right guy with the right opportunity to do something. I can't wait for Bray Wyatt Matt Hardy matchup. Most likely it's not going to have uh, in-ring stuff. 
most likely going to be how it was in TNA with all the, you know, deletion series. This is what we're going to get because, you know, WWE did copy off Matt Hardy and Jeff with the final deletion a long time ago with the New Day and uh, the Wyatt stuff. So, no doubt they're going to do this. And hopefully, this man gives him a lot of control with his character because this man do not know how to use other gimmicks and get over it like he did with NWO back in the day. He didn't know he was doing NWO. So hopefully, Matt Hardy get a lot of control of his character. He don't gotta get full control, but get most of the control of his character. And we can get some good stuff on WWE television. Finally, there's something I can look forward to on Monday Night Raw. Because it's a three-hour show, people. We need characters on the show. Hopefully, this leads to more characters down the line. Because we just can't sit through wrestling three hours every Monday. It gets very boring. We need characters like Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. And people, I've been watching that segment like 50 times. It's rare when I go back and watch stuff on Monday Night Raw. Today, last night, I watched it so many times. I'm not going to stop watching. i die and get bored. I'm going to continue to watch it. I can't wait to see what else they're going to do with Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. I'm going to go forward to this few. I hope this few these last two, three months give us just tremendous stuff. It should be Pearl County. I can't wait the next week. Whatever city they in, he's going to say, I knew you come. I can't wait to hear that. Hear the crowd just pop. Never going to have somebody who acknowledge the city every Monday. Kind of like when The Rock always said, finally, The Rock has come back. You will get that with Matt Hardy about a city. I knew you come. So it's so much things I'm looking forward to the Matt Hardy walking character. So give me your thoughts on last night's segment between Bray Wyatt and uh, Matt Hardy. And are y'all hyped? for Matt Hardy officially being woken in the W. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.